Hello, my lovelies. Welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love readings. This is going to be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. How are you doing, Pisces? I hope you guys are doing good. How is this weather treating you guys? Weather's been crazy out here in California. All right, so I was shuffling the deck and we had four cards pop out. We have the five of wands here, the eight of swords, the four of wands, and the three of swords. So I felt like I was going to put the cards back in here and I felt very pulled towards giving this message. So before we put the cards back in here, um, I just want to get this message across. Now, for some of you guys, you may be dealing with a situation. For those of you guys that are in a committed relationship, uh, you may be dealing with a lot of arguments, a lot of misunderstandings. I feel that you feel at the present time very frustrated, Pisces. Uh, it could be because you feel stuck, because you feel like you can't really progress. And it could have a lot to do with pride. It could have a lot to do with the person that you're with, that you're dealing with. Um, with the Four of Wands and the Three of Swords, what they're saying here is that you both need to put your prides aside and either commit to working the relationship out or commit to completely discarding it and walking away from it. Because I feel that this is very toxic type of energy and I feel that for a lot of you guys, um, the message here is if you continue on the path that you're on, sooner than later, either you or your partner are going to be very tested in regards to stepping out of the relationship because we do have the three of swords here. So again, if you feel like you're currently going through this situation where uh, you're constantly arguing or bickering with your partner, uh, be mindful about that because it is important to understand that a lot of the times, you know, when people step out of a relationship or when they cheat, uh, we're very quick to blame that person, right? Now, I'm not making any excuses for cheating, but a lot of the times, often than not, the partner has a lot to do with the reason why the other partner steps out of the marriage. So again, um, you know, if you're constantly criticizing or critiquing your partner or judging them or making them feel a certain type of way, you're pushing them to the point of the moment someone starts to say something nice to them, they feel very welcoming and that's where temptation comes in. So take that message for what it is. We got cards flying out of everywhere. All right, so we have the Eight of Pentacles here. Eight of Pentacles could represent putting um, work effort towards a commitment, towards a marriage. Um, we have the Three of Wands. Three of Wands could represent expansion, growth, Two of Cups, Genuine Connection or Love, Seven of Wands, Ace of Wands, Two of Swords, The Tower, Three of Pentacles, And the Ten of Swords. All right. All right, Pisces. For those of you guys that are in a committed relationship, I, I feel like you've put a lot of effort into this commitment, a lot of uh, really, a lot of effort. I feel that for a lot of you guys, you've been carrying the relationship or you're the one that's always putting the effort, the energy towards this relationship, towards this connection, especially those of you guys that are in a committed relationship. Um, with the three of wands, there is a desire for, like I said, expansion. With the two of cups, for some of you guys, you may already be in a situation where it's very complex and very... A sticky situation I should say now I'm gonna be honest with you guys I see for a lot of you guys those of you guys that are in a committed relationship make sure to nurture and make sure to make time to be physically proactive with your partner because I see them being tempted for some of you guys it could be like getting news that is unexpected um, although I don't see it here for some, it could represent like getting news that you're pregnant, you weren't expecting it, it comes out of nowhere. 
uh, around this time frame as well, we do have the Tower and the Ten of Swords. So there is definitely some type of ending that's happening here. It's the conclusion of something. So it could be the conclusion of um, this relationship as you know it. And it can also represent taking it to the next level because we do have the Hierophant. Now, I know the Tower card and the Ten of Swords has a very bad reputation, but it could represent uh, information or situations that come to light in order for us to take a certain action uh, to bring some type of ending to a certain behavior, a certain trait, a certain... Um, a certain pattern of our way of living. So I feel that for some of you guys, it could represent the news of, you know, unexpected news like that of pregnancy and the conclusion of the struggle or the conclusion of uh, feeling like you are in an in unstable relationship with the three of pentacles and the eight of pentacles up here, um, drawing you guys closer together, being able to put prides aside and, okay, let's make it about our family let's make it about you know our child that's coming into this world it's like putting egos aside and really taking it back to what really matters which is stability um now for others of you it could represent potentially uh where there's been lack of either connection support uh physical sex uh even or being cold and standoffish with your partner and getting news or information about them stepping out of the relationship feeling a bit confused because it's coming out of nowhere what they're telling you here is i'm getting multiple messages for some of you for some of you it could be the news of, of finding out that they were either tempted it could be them confessing to you and the reason why they're confessing to you is because they want you to understand uh, where they're coming from. Uh, perhaps you've kind of forgotten to maintain the flame of passion going for you guys. For others of you, it could represent that um, there is a situation here that is coming to a conclusion to an end, especially those of you guys that are single. Uh, it could be that you were dealing with people from the past. Now, for those of you guys that are dating, be careful because I do see that there could have been a situation where whenever you felt like your partner wasn't giving you the attention or the effort or the love that you were wanting, you were quick to entertain things from the past. Be careful with that because I do see things coming out to the open and this could be the partner finding out that perhaps you were talking to a person from your past. Uh, it could be that they hear about it or find out that you were entertaining someone from your past and they they are making the decision either to walk away or to no, no longer want to put effort in this relationship. But right at the center, you do have the Ace of Wands. So the Ace of Wands could represent a new beginning, but it has to do with passion. So I think that for a lot of you guys that are in a committed relationship, you may be tempted to step out. We have two threes here. Um, and a lot of passion. So I feel that there's a lot of lack of passion. There's lack of sex. There's lack of attention or support, even emotional support. Uh, this could be you uh, that has your eye on someone, Pisces. Or it could be that your partner is currently dealing with someone that uh, may have their eye and it could be a person that is connected to their work in some shape way or form uh, that is coming around them or that is trying to get their attention um, either way I feel like for a lot of you guys you're going to be experiencing a lot of changes in the next coming weeks and there's a lot of news coming out that it's going to change your perspective or the way you see your partner um even seeing them in a certain light that you've never seen them before. It uh, could be positive, could be negative. It just depends. It is a general reading. Um, but I am definitely seeing like the, the blindfold is coming off. That's for sure. All right. Let's see what the message is here for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in regards to this situation. Okay. 
I fear that you will reject me. Yeah, that's what I was hearing when I was being told that for some of you guys, the partner's feeling like very, like you're being very critiqueful or critiquing them. And it's not constructive criticism. It's like spiteful type of, like just picking at them because you can, Pisces. Because you're in one of your mood swings. <laughs> now, keep in mind, this could be a general, uh, this could be vice versa. It is a general reading, just putting it out there. But I feel that they fear or feel like you've rejected them in some shape, way, or form. I hope I will see you again sometime. And I am, com I am not coming back. Okay. And then I happen to look at the bottom. I don't know how to let you go. Like I said, I feel that for some of you guys, you have different, I was told different storylines. For some of you guys that are in a committed relationship, I feel like you're being tested or you're being tempted. That's if you've not already stepped out of the relationship. And I feel that there's news that's coming out to the open. Things are going to be revealed in a very powerful way that it may change the course of this relationship um they're going to be feeling rejected they're going to be feeling like maybe in the spur of the moment they may over i mean there's no overreaction for cheating but um they could have taken a decision of completely ending as an example a 20-year marriage um but deep down inside they there's still love there However, if this information does come through or if the inform if you have in fact stepped out and you're trying to keep that on the down low, I feel that for the next coming weeks this may come out to the open and they may make the decision to not want to uh, continue working on that relationship. Now for others of you it could represent that you were dealing with the person from the past and your current partner finds out or hears or sees a text, something that is showing them that you are still entertaining that. And they may make the decision to walk away from this connection. Okay. Now, let's see what Spirit's direct message is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. In regards to this situation, what is the direct message for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? We have number 32. So this is about intuition. This is about inner workings, reflection. This is about mystery and things being highlighted, things that you thought were being kept in the hidden. This could be vice versa. Like I said, it's a general reading. So if it's not your news, it's news you're going to be getting about your partner. Um, listen to your intuition, Pisces. If you've been feeling lately like something is off, more than likely it is off. If you've been feeling like your partner's not being completely honest, they're probably not. Um, this is about listening to the intuition and learning to decipher things that are just not adding up. And I feel that with the Tower and the Ten of Swords, there's a decision that you're going to be making that is going to lead to the conclusion of either this connection, this relationship, or if this was you, just be ready to explain. All right, my lovelies. I wish you guys the very best. If you do not connect with this message, keep in mind the tarot sometimes it is not about the present. It will speak about what is unfolding, meaning what is coming to manifest. So if you're being tempted, if you feel like you're just not connecting with your partner anymore, be an honest person and walk away from something that is not working instead of continuously keep dragging them along and hurting a person because often than not, you will be paid with the same coin in return. All right? All right, my lovelies. I wish you guys the very best, and we'll see each other soon. Bye.